Hey everyone, this is Drift Looney, and today is going to be the last episode of Debutsu no Mori, aka the Animal Crossing Encore playthrough. I wanted to thank you all for subscribing to 150 50 subscribers, and I want to thank you so much for actually supporting this video. Now, it doesn't mean I'm going to quit on doing Let's Plays. It means I'm going to finish off the entire Animal Crossing playthroughs from now on, so... Let's get going. Week 10, June 9th, 2024. Chip stick. Oh boy, another fishing day. By this dreadful, stereotypical Japanese chip. And I don't want to get through it. But every time when he just starts talking, I really don't want to hear him actually speaking to me, so I let his. He actually has too much of his shtick going on, is that he actually doesn't even know how I can skip his dialogue. That's the shtick he's going with, and I hate it. Well, there's something I really wanted to do. Like, uh, going ahead and try talking to Chow, or even Goose. Either one of the two would really work, but... I actually decided to go with sticking into Goose for today, since he's really up for another prank I'm gonna pull off this week. Probably it's gonna be, hopefully, a big shtick I'm gonna have him. But this time I really think he was going to fall for the jokes I'm really gonna have for him, like, uh, hey, get over here, chicken! But the chicken really thinks that I really have nothing to go for chicken cross the road. Because he gets the pitfalls. Get it? Eh, eh, not so funny. I understand, but I couldn't help but wonder, what is the joke about him cro and chickens like crossing the roads anyway? Is it funny because it's unexpected, or is it true enough? June 10th, 2024. More friendly favors. Well, more friendly favors is right. Besides, I have to go talk to Octavian today. He seems to be stoked up about trying to get through a day without any strength that he has to pull off. But the real reason why he's no longer wearing Am the Pride shirt... Well, it was forced on for me for just about a week as punishment. Well, for just hating the Pride Month itself. Oh well. It was a memory, at least. Well, before I did that favor, I decided to kick a ball through the bridge. I was pretty lucky because that ball wouldn't go ahead and just fall into the water, but surprisingly, it didn't. It was right there on Poncho's place. Really surprising, isn't it? He asked for a ball, and he couldn't even just try to fetch one for me. I... It was right there! The ball is right there! You can't seriously find a ball? The ball is right there beside you! You know where the ball is kept! And I have no points, and... Oh, wait. He was supposed to get me something, but... My pockets were already full. So I can't even get it. Well, I decided to just go ahead and throw a fossil down. But it was still triggers the effect of... Not skipping the award and getting what's this wallpaper. Fall much for the wallpaper, I guess. Well, it was finally time for me to go ahead and try to do the task I have to do. Better be a very good task for all the favors I have to do for this week. So, I decided to go ahead and get Doctivian back his own thing, what he was requesting, which is basically living in Opal's house. He gave one of those things to Opal, and he decides to ask her to hold it. I'm really stoking in with some anger management issues. And I decided to go ahead and talk to Pearl, and see what she has any kind of favors I want her to get. A favor?
favor is a favor, they say. Oh, and guess what? It's in Chow's place. My favor. A good favor is what I need to understand for a great favor. Especially having a bear around. I really like this kind of stuff that Chow actually says. But he actually told me that he actually got it to Rosie's house. Rosie's house? Really? I couldn't help but wonder. Is it that because Rosie has all the stuff that she needs, does he, she no learn to share? Especially for a peppy cat like her, she just doesn't even seem to get it. Well, peppy whatever she is, she's too peppy enough to even steal things. But is it that just peppiness is doesn't mean much of anything that really rakes into the mind? If so, then how is peppiness ever creaking into a line like this? Well, I went back to Pearl's house, and I decided to give her what she wanted, which is her supposedly camera slash videotape. Seemed like it really should be one of the two. And she even gave me a wonderful I am just to get away with all the stress I'm really going through, huh? Well, this is it. Finally finishing up the day with giving Octavian what he asked for. Hopefully it's really going to be the best thing out there. It turns out it was his watch. Well, I'm surprised his watch actually was disappearing in Rosie's house. Wasn't I surprised about that? Tomorrow I'm going to do some more favors just to get away from all the stress I'm going through. So much better! June 11th, 2024. Chevers Videotape. Now what's a videotape has to do with the years of 2024? Probably because it's only taking place in the early 2000s where videotapes still exist. Well... I went to Rosie's house. Now I have to go ahead and try to get the Shepherds ask for her videotape. Why would anyone else ever know about the videotape just like this one? I never asked. A videotape in the Chur of Thousands? Never thought it. Well, Rosie did say that she gave the item to Bob, and I had to ask Bob for it. But turns out he actually gave it to Poncho, which is... Ugh! Poncho, you're next. Well, not really. Hopefully it's actually a good time for her to understand that I really am going to find this line of items for Sheffrey as hard as then even learning to walk. Oh, thanks, Poncho. You're just too kind to understand. Just for kindness for actually being a better thing. No way can you really handle this kind of gimmick. How would a... Uh, never mind. I already asked too much. Well, Shepard wanted her videotape. And just like I said before, I'm sorry for the bad editing for actually trying to get the videotape only the descriptions that my video footage actually cut off when I was actually recording. And my recording was really bad that I skipped most of the parts of... June 12th, 2024. The final loan. Well, this is it. We're finally getting our loan done. Hopefully. It might be the last one. If it is the last one, I would be so happy. Well... Let's see what this is. If the loan's actually complete. We're finished! Finished up with the house! What are you even supposed to know about that? And hooray! We've finished the house! It would be probably the last one, huh? If it is the last one, I would be so happy. It is the last one! Wow! 
Tom Nook says this is going to be a big surprise that he's going to let you have a monument of my congratulations of my own trophy. I'm so happy for that. I never knew about that. June 13th, 2024. Golden Touch. Yep, a Golden Touch. Really hitting in the spot. It better be a good one because that monument I'm really getting my trophy isn't actually a trophy after all. What? Turns out that trophy right there is actually my golden monumental. A golden reward for all completing my whole loan. Just what I always wanted for today. I'm going to bed now. June 14th, 2024. Happiness means something. What does it even mean something after Pride Week? Well, well, doing a fun thing for once, playing a little prank on my dear chicken fellow, which is basically a pitfall that I found out when I was digging. Come here. Come here, little chicky. Come on, little chicky. Come on. Come on. Yes, there you go. How do you like them apples? You like that because it never gets old, and you never even complain about it because you're a jock! Ha! Well, there's more stuff to do before I can actually do a little bit of a lessening. Like taking a talk with my dear friend Opal. Sure, she can be a little nasty at times, but other times she can be a little salty at most of the case. But happiness does mean thuns for anyone to understand. How Benuna was ever expecting happiness? She must be really happy because the sun's going down, a relaxing night, hopping to see kitties coming around and playing, like Rosie. Oh, I'm surprised that Rosie was sneaking outside, which is probably a good case. To be understanding how Rosie can be a friend, she's my number one best friend in the whole entire town. What about Shever? Oh, Shever, are you okay? You look kind of sad after trying to go talk to someone like that. It's my birthday after all, so you probably understand what my birthday is. It's September 18th, so you better not forget. Oh, and even she has something for me. Oh, she doesn't. Well, it's about happiness, after all, with all that talking around. Like you, Maple. Maybe you have something in common. Maybe we do have the liking of the yellow shirts spreading around. Or even the good times we had over the trying to get through the shirts thing. It's better be something great. Or even spoiling pulling weeds. Maybe pulling weeds is probably the best thing out there, too. Maybe acts of kindness is obviously the right thing to do as well when you have to give away your stuff or even letting you have that much money to even sell. Do something kind for the last few days on this episode. The last day of today. And this is the last one too because June 15th is my final day here in Meme Town. After I paid all my loans, I finally got a chance to at least try to say goodbye to my neighbors. They weren't that happy at first, but doing the things of a kind things I have talked to them, I'm going to talk for the most of them, since many of them are trying to sleep at the rainy day. Like, whenever I talk to Shever or Rosie, my favorites, I don't really think that Shever's the one of the most rememberable, but having the memories of all this time is giving what I've always wanted. I don't want to be so one-eyed about it, but all memories have gone into the waste. It's okay when you ever make some, some mistakes at this time of rate. Whenever I have something like I've always wanted to give, it's only friendship after all. Here living in Meme Town is probably the best thing out there. Except when I had to insult Maple when I was talking to her. 
No, it doesn't seem really rather confusing, but this is the last day, and I can't even just go ahead and commentate over it. I couldn't help but wonder, is that really supposed to be funny that I actually have to insult the Yellow Clan? I mean, the Yellow Clan isn't really my thing after all, but oh well, it was a meme at least. Especially when I experienced the Rosie O'Donnell meme. Probably one of the worst actresses out there, but still, a memory at least. You can always make a memory out of anything. Like Opal 64 when I had her in town. I always wanted to see Opal 64 at this time of rate, but having Opal 64 is probably the best thing out there. And she decided to go ahead and give me the shirt that I wanted to sell. But she actually sold the shirt of Opal 64 to me, which is probably the best thing I ever even got from her. Oh, Opal, you have a sweet memory of friendship. I won't forget this. Opal, I'm really glad to have you as my best friend in town. All the memories we had together, it was a great thing we actually did. What else did I have not even talk about today? Twiggy. Always fussy, always angry. You can't just blame her, she had a rough childhood. Even though she had this strange lesbianic friendship with Robin. And Robin and Twiggy seemed to have some kind of strange connection to wait the two. A secretly revealed that they're lesbians. Well, what else can I even talk to today before I end off this entire series of the Encore Animal Crossing on Nintendo 64? Why not just go ahead and just talk to some jocks or friendships at least? Or even talk to Poncho and Pearl. The ones that always got themselves engaged with the relationships between the other two. The relationships that we had together was probably the best thing out there. But there was always things that we have, all the kindness we get, and everything is okay. Well, for the most part, I just wanted to end it off this stream by actually saying goodbye to my last friend. Who is it actually? Well... It isn't Tabby yet, the murderous cat. It's somebody else besides Tabby that we always like to pick on. Who because of because he's a champion after all. No ways of being in ways with champions at least. But there is one thing I have to do. Is going ahead and say goodbye to Tabby. You seem to be a murderous cat alright. But... Murderers don't even seem to have as bad of a case. You can probably go to a mental hospital if that can if when you tried to murder me, dear Tabby Lecter or Hannibal Le Tabby or whatever. <sighs> probably the best thing we can really do. Check on this wishing well and even talk to this goose who is basically a chicken. And his name is Goose, actually. But the one thing I can really say to him... There's no such thing as love. Only peace is love. Alright, that's gonna be it for my entire Let's Play of Animal Crossing Encore for Nintendo 64. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next playthrough and I really think of having a notice for friendship is nothing. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next videos of the next series. This is Drift Looney signing off. Have a wonderful day and bye. Roll the credits.